I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This week, we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions and fitness goals, and I have a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Megan Waits. I am the CEO and head coach of Train With Waits Online Fitness Coaching. All right, awesome. And what brought you to Waco? Or are you a Waco native? I am not a native. I actually grew up in the Midwest, you know, like not too far away. Um, And we moved for my husband's job, which he doesn't even have anymore. But (laughs) glad to be here nonetheless. That's super awesome. And what is your fitness speciality? That is a great question. So really, um, what I... What I like to think that I do is I help women um, to transform just inside and out and achieve the body and confidence um, that they've always dreamed of having. All right, awesome. And what is your qualifications and background in fitness? Yeah, so I've been a trainer, a certified personal trainer, for almost three years now. Um, And I started off with my NASM certification, um, was double certified at one point with ISSA. That's the current one that I have that is still valid. Um, yeah, and I started off as a studio coach. I did that for a couple of years, and then quarantine, COVID, all that fun stuff, um, gym shut down. Mm-hmm. So presented the perfect opportunity to invest, you know, all my time and energy into online coaching, which was always my end goal, and that is what I do full time now. That is super amazing. Now, tell me how you feel about New Year's resolutions and fitness goals. Oh, okay, so I I love them. I definitely like. I hate the people that like hate on people for <laughs> making them. Yes. Um, I mean, there's so much research out there that shows the positive effects last for, you know, a long time afterwards. Um, and I think, you know, making those resolutions to be a better version of yourself in whatever capacity is always a good thing. Um, I think that sometimes for some people, it tends to kind of stop there. They, It's a nice idea to them. You know what I mean? Um, but they never get fully invested or come up with a game plan. Um, in the ones that do, I think that's great. You know, they're probably a little bit more goal-centric versus resolution-centric, which mm-hmm. I think is also really important. Um, but, you know, sometimes they come up with a plan of action that lasts a month, maybe two. Um, but they don't really have, like, a long-term game plan in place of how to initiate and sustain um, the changes that they're looking to make. Yeah, what are some great ways to track your goals? Oh, that is a great question. Um, So I'm going to talk about the scale first Mm -hmm. because I feel like that is just like the end-all be-all for so many people. Um, And it's really, it's not even the most accurate way to track your progress. It's really not. Um, So I would recommend tracking um, your progress, you know, multiple ways, like track with the scale, track with, you know, circumference measurements, track with photos or a huge one. That's what I look at um, probably more than anything with my clients. Um, And then just go by other things, you know, like how are your clothes fitting? How do you feel when you look in the mirror? How do you, um, how about just like emotionally? Do you feel happier? Do you feel healthier? Um, How are your energy levels? How are, you know, different things, even just like digestion, performance in the gym, sleep, things like that. Um, You are, you know, a whole human. There are multiple dimensions um, to you and to your health beyond just like the number on a scale. So I think looking at it holistically, um, every single aspect is super important, not to get just brain lock on one thing, but tracking multiple ways. Yeah, and now tell me about your program. Yes, so um, I have a couple of different ways that you can work with me. Right now, um, I am actually, I have enrollment open for my signature 10-week group coaching program, the one with Kickstarter. Um, I love this program so much. This is the third time that I've actually launched it, um, this one in honor of New Year's, of course. Um, and it's really just a great way to, yeah, kickstart your health and fitness journey. We touch on workouts, nutrition, mindset, you know, all the different dimensions I was talking about that you need to be your happiest, healthiest self. Um, and for, you know, people looking for something with a little bit higher accountability, a little bit higher touch, more intimate, my one-on-one coaching is a great option. Um, I have, you know, that open periodically just based on, you know, availability. Um, so I always just tell people, like, click the link in my Instagram bio, um, and you can apply to work with me in any capacity Yeah, you already answered my question. I was going to say, how can people be involved and how can they get active? Yeah, so absolutely follow me on Instagram. That's like where I hang out most of the time. It's at Megan.Waits, W-A-I-T-S. Megan is spelled just how it sounds. My dad always says it the right way. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so you can follow me there. I'm posting content all of the time. Just, again, click the link in my bio if you want to work with me. And, uh, yeah. All right, now we're getting into the nitty-gritty. So, this is favorite places to go in Waco. I have broken it up into three categories. Okay. We have gyms. We have parks, and then we have food, because food is important as well. Okay. All right, number one, gyms. Go. Okay. 
train Waco. Of course. One thousand percent. Um, they used to be just across the gym. Um, they recently changed locations, um, so they have CrossFit and a commercial gym. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize they have the commercial gym side, um, but I've been to a lot of gyms in Waco. My favorite, hands down, that's where I go right now. Um, I would say if you're looking for something, you know, like cheaper, on the cheaper side, you can do like Planet Fitness or Crunch. I've been a couple times. I would say crowds are probably the only negative to that one. A lot of people go there. Um, oh my gosh, let me think. Um, I have heard amazing things about Refit Studios. Mm-hmm. Um, we did the women's panel there. Yes, that's um, where I met you. Yes, yes, and I got to meet some of the staff. They seem amazing. I've seen people post amazing things about them. So if you're more of a class-oriented person, I would say to check out Refit for sure. All right, awesome. Now we're moving on to parks. Okay, Cameron Park, obviously. Of course, I, I knew that was going to be number yes, one. No, I saw a thing that literally said it's like as big or like second in line with like, what is it, the big park in the why am I? I can't think of it. In New York City, the big park Central in New York Park? City. Yes. Duh. Okay. Central yes. Park? If Central you're a friend of it. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's like, it's like up there with Central Park, um, which wow. is crazy. Um, yeah. And I don't get out nearly as much as I should. Mm-hmm. Um, what are other parks? I'm drawing a blank. That's, that's like, that's the biggest one. Cameron Park is the biggest park. Yeah. I get bit by mosquitoes every time I go outside and like sunburn things like that so I'm, I'm an indoors person but Cameron Park for sure there's also a uh, Woodway Park have you been there yes Woodway I, Park I think so Hewitt Park Hewitt Park uh yes. there's also a uh, Whitehall Park oh I haven't heard of that one it's a really nice park in Waco um there's a few other parks um I mean outdoor fitness versus indoor fitness um just if you yeah. want to get outside I mean yes. I know it is cold right now but running yes. cardio is important Tennis. and when it's I can tell you all this oh yeah, cardio. you're playing tennis, tennis today, right? Yeah, my husband teached me how to play tennis, so there's that. That's a great form of cardio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Oh, but I do have a serious question about Cameron Park, though. Oh, okay. Can you do Jacob's Ladder and okay. be okay? I've walked up it. Even <laughs> that was a little bit sketch. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like no matter how fit you are, stairs never get easier. Mm-hmm. I don't. I just it's it's always just as difficult as I remember <laughs> being the last time. Um, but yeah, I I know people that go out there and do like running drills, and I have nothing but like admiration for them. I know. I see them, and I'm like, wow. And then like all the people biking, I'm like, dedication. 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 Absolutely. Yes. But, yeah. And then now we're moving on to restaurants. Oh, food. Gosh. Tell me about gosh. the best places to get food. And I can only pick three. That's really problematic. Okay. Do it. Union Hall. Okay. For of course. Sure. Um, but that has so many options. We're I know. I kind of like cheated on that one. But um, I love the the chicken wing place. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it's called. The uh, Wings of Waco. Maybe. Maybe that's, yeah. I think they only have one wing place in there. Um, I love it because great way to get protein in. Mm-hmm. So you can, like, go out to eat but still kind of, like, stay on track. Mm-hmm. Um, I love their, um, the Dry Rub Ranch Wings. That sounds amazing. They're so good. Don't they also have vegan wings? They use cauliflower no. and they actually fry it. And they have vegan wings, so if you need vegan options yes, as well. Yes, vegan, yeah, we would do that. The pizza place in Union Hall is good, too. Yes. Um, okay, let me see. If I want my Italian fix, mm-hmm. Barris. <gasps> yes, I love Barris. Barris. Been there so many times. Cheap, massive portions. Amazing. I love it. You can't go wrong with it. Um, the meatball sub. Sure. Or the tortellini cake. Had I've shrimp? had that, yes. yes. It's with shrimp, right? Or do you, you get shrimp get added? With shrimp, chicken, beef, yeah. I've got it with shrimp yeah. on it. Yeah, oh, I do it with no protein sometimes. I don't know if I'm bad about it. You know, I'm a cheese gal, so I yes. completely oh, understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then let me think. Okay, um... Barbecue. Okay. Like barbecue is worth mentioning. Helberg Barbecue. Yeah. My husband works there. I'm a little biased. Oh, I to see. To be fair, we went there like for two years before he worked there. Um, orange chicken bacon wings. Okay. I've never had that before. Yes. Tell me more. Yes. Every Thursday. It's like the flavor of 2021. My husband came up with this concoction. I'm an orange chicken like connoisseur. It is like my thing. Um, they're amazing. It's like pork belly, deep fried, dipped in like orange chicken sauce. It's phenomenal on that, Thursdays you have to try it that sounds amazing like yes. honestly and like I was thinking like mamaka bowls have you been there before oh my gosh they do I a lot of like that. health food and they do yes. acai bowls yes. and I really think they're super awesome if you're trying to get some really good yes. food if you want like health food Jay Petal is a great one yes locally owned business they, everyone that works there is so awesome and um, there's a new one opening on Hewitt Drive yes there so is. they're having a second location yep. one um, one on both sides of town which is great I need yeah. that I order them for lunch sometimes and it takes like an hour and a half to get to my work and I'm like I'm not even mad about it yeah it's so good it. <laughs> you know a little hot cheeto dusting on top it's, yes. yeah I love the poke bowl with the uh, shrimp on it and like the crab and then like all the yes. lo- I just love ginger also I can eat ginger just raw really I love it that's not I 
It really okay, cleans out your right. sinuses okay. too. Speaking of sinuses, it is that you time of year. That. But yeah. go there. Amazing. Yes. All the ginger on top. Best thing. Um, I actually just had sushi at Waco Roll. Have you been there before? I was just about to say that one next. Yes, I, I literally just got from there. One. Yeah, they have, like, great options across the menu if you want to go, you know, like, a little dirty with a, you know, mm-hmm. like a little, mm-hmm. little meat fried, but you can also, they have, like, a lot of just, like, really nutrition. I mean, everything there is just super nutritious, super wholesome. You can't go wrong. Yeah, and tell me how important that nutrition is to, you know, of course, your workout and your fitness goals. Oh, yes. So, um... I mean, every single aspect of your health and fitness is important, and, but nutrition is kind of like the non-negotiable. You know, everybody talks about you can't out-train a bad diet, mm-hmm. um, but also having the correct mindset and mentality about diet is really important, too. So often I hear people talk about, like, clean and dirty mm-hmm. um, or, you know, good and bad, and I always like to tell people, like, make sure you're eating the proper, like, um, quantity of food. Quality of food matters, like, you know, wholesome clean, if you will, nutritious, those are the words I prefer to use, Mm -hmm. Um, kinds of food are really important, but like, make sure the quantity aligns with your fitness goals too, you know what I mean, if you're trying to, you know, lose weight, just make sure you're eating a little bit less, eating, you know, moving more, things like that, Um, and yeah, just really think about your mentality of food too, because that's make or break long term, you know, like, food doesn't have morality, it is neither good nor bad, Um, and using words like that or like cheat can really get us into a negative headspace, and food is awesome, like it's supposed to fuel our body, it's supposed to taste good, we're supposed to enjoy it and like what we eat, Um, so yeah, just make sure that, you know, quality and quantity, but also like the mentality you have around food is kind of aligned with your goals. Yeah, of course, and then, you know what, do go ahead and tell me like what are some things you would like to see from Waco, either in the fitness realm or just in your own personal hobbies? Oh my goodness. Um, I think Waco has so much potential for growth, um, and everyone, like, thus far, people have done such a great job of just, like, identifying niches and needs and, like, Mm -hmm. filling those. Um, more food, always a good thing. Yes. Always a good thing. (laughs) Um, I do think more quality gyms would Mm -hmm. be a great thing, too. Like, Train Waco's awesome, um, but you know, like, there's one location, um, if there are people on the other side of town, um or, you know, people that need childcare, things like that. I feel like we don't really have a lot of good options in that regard. Um, so I think, you know, one or two more quality gyms would actually be awesome. Yeah, and are there any fitness groups or anything that you would recommend or any Facebook pages or anything like that that people can be involved in? Ooh, that's good. Um, I'm one of those people that really, like, works out by myself, mm. <laughs> so I'm not super involved with classes and groups and things like that. Um, Waco actually has a surprisingly large fitness community, though. Um, there is an Instagram page called Keep Waco Fit, mm-hmm. um, and they post and highlight, like, different trainers and different people who are active in the community, things like that. So, I would say if you're just, like, looking for people to follow on Instagram, um, you could go check them out, um, look at some people there. Um, yeah, like, the CrossFit classes at Train Waco are awesome. I'm not a CrossFit person myself, but I think it's important to find a form of fitness you enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, so, if that's your vibe, you can do that. Like I said, Refit has great classes. Um, Gold's Gym has some great classes as well, um, and then there's some like little local boot camps that you can find too that like hang out at the parks and do things like that. Yeah, and I think Train Waco actually has a deal right now. It's like ninety nine dollars for unlimited CrossFit. Yeah, I think so. I know they're always super great about no, you know, like not tying you in with really strict contracts. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just like a month to month. As long as you give them thirty days to cancel, you're good, and it's it's actually quite affordable too for what you get. Yeah, and speaking of the fitness community and everyone here in Waco that's involved in that, is there anyone you want to shout out? Oh my gosh, you're putting me on the spot now. Everyone says that. <laughs> I know. Oh, I wish you'd give me time to think about that because there are seriously so many awesome people. Like I said, mm-hmm. Keep Waco Fit mm-hmm. highlights all of them. There's honestly like way too many to like even name. Um, but there's some awesome trainers and just like awesome people um, that put some their fitness and are super inspiring. But I would check them out for all of that because um, I'm completely drawing a blank when I put it on the spot. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> Um, is there anyone else you would like to shout out personally? I have some people that just shout out their mom and their grandma. Is there oh anyone gosh. else you want okay. to shout out? I'm going to shout out my husband. Of course. Love, how Get, you doing, Mark? Hit us up with the, bur- yes. uh, the barbecue. The barbecue, yes. Yeah. We're going to open a pizza restaurant, too. <gasps> oh, so. tell me the deets. Oh, my gosh. So we don't have it all ironed out. We're hoping sometime <laughs> later this year, but he has okay. an amazing concept. Um, it hasn't been done in Texas that we're aware of. Hmm. So, yeah, it's kind of novel. He's already done. I've already gotten to I'll have him on the podcast yes. then. Yes, absolutely. He'll bring you pizza. Yeah, we can you do know, a blind taste kitchen. test. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Test hey. kitchen podcast episode. That's a good idea. Blind we're doing it. taste test. He'd be all blind for it. Blind taste test. All for it. I Tell your it. hubby. We're ready. I will. I will. <laughs> absolutely. And then um, I'm going to shout out my, my CFO, Allie. Hi, Allie. What's up? Okay. Yep. 
All right, awesome. And now, again, just go ahead and give me all your socials, where we can find you, how we can get involved. Yeah, so my Instagram is at Megan, M-E-G-A-N, dot Waits, W-A-I-T-S. You can click the link in my bio to figure out how to work with me and learn more. And that's pretty much, I'm not on YouTube, like Facebook, nothing like that right now, but you can find me hanging out on Instagram. That's super awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. I really yeah, appreciate you talking about me. fitness goals with me and the it. new 2021. Yes, of course. Anytime. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast.